We're going from this to this. Today I am taking you along as I declutter and organize my needles and hooks into a handy grab and go pouch. Hey everyone, it's Natalie, also known as Nitty Natty, and look at what I got over the weekend. Okay, I have been wanting one of these bags from five to six handmade for at least six months, and I have been telling myself I couldn't order it until I narrow down what types of needles and tools that I want. I finally did that, and I have been working back and forth with Molly of Five to Six Handmade to create this custom bag for all of my needles and notions. I wanna give you a quick tour of the bag while it's empty before we fill it up, but first I wanna say that I ordered and paid for this with my own money. Molly did not ask me to advertise this in any way, but I think this is such a good quality bag that I am gonna be saying Five to Six Handmade a million times in this video because I want you to know who it is from and who made it. Okay, let me flip my camera around here and I wanna show you. <laughs> Try again. I wanna show you what's inside. All right, so this is a custom needle organizer from Five to Six Handmade. So the what makes mine custom is I've got two layers of pockets on this side. My plan is to put my interchangeable needles here in the front double pointed needles here in the back pocket, which is a little bit longer. Then if I flip things around on the other side, I have crochet hook labels so I can get all of my crochet hooks into this bag. These pockets on the inside can be customized to meet your needs. Just check out the Etsy shop down below and see if she's doing custom bags right now. On the front of the bag, there's also a zippered pocket, which I think will really come in handy. One of the cool things you can do in this front zipper pocket is actually put a interchangeable shorties, um, like dividers in here, which would be really, really awesome if that was something I used a lot, but I wanted to draw that to your attention in case that's a need that you have. I also got this circular needle organizer in the same fabric, which has magnetic holders, and then it just has a bunch of plastic file folder things that you can put interchangeable needles in. I'm also planning, or not interchangeable, circular needles in, and I'm also planning to put a lot of my different cords. It also comes with some stickers so that we can get things labeled. So here is the vision. I would love to today get all of my needles and hooks inside of this pouch and shed anything extra. Eventually, I would like this bag to also have everything that is basically not yarn. All my measuring tapes, all my notions, all my stitch markers, everything in just one place so it's super easy for me to just grab this take it on a trip take it into the living room whatever i need it will be my one-stop shop for all of my knitting and crochet needs before we can get to the fun part of like putting everything in the bag putting those stickers on i'm really excited for that I need to get all of my stuff in one place and I need to get rid of some of it. I have a lot of extras. I have several sets of interchangeable needles, but I know now what I'm actually going to use and what I'm not going to use. I just need to get those things out and separated. Currently, all of my needles and hooks and double pointed needles and all kinds of things are in this one basket. I also have a ton of different notions in a drawer. I'm hoping to declutter those today. I don't think I'm gonna get all of my notions like organized today, but I'm hoping I can at least take care of this one space. Okay, we know what we have to do. Let's make a mess and then we can make it better. Everybody wanna sing, sing, sing. I was literally looking for this everywhere. I'm so glad to have found it. We have fun, fun, fun when we're moving to the beat. This kind of song makes you belong to something greater, something that makes you want to sing. And it gets you in a dancing flow and moving gets Oh boy. <laughs> I have got quite the pile here behind me. So. When it comes to organizing, I'm gonna do a technique that I find always has worked best for me. And that is instead of looking at what I want to get rid of, because that's really hard, and how do I know what I wanna get rid of? 
if I don't know what I want to keep. So I'm going to focus first on pulling everything out of this pile that I know that I absolutely need, that I'm using a lot, that I want to have. And then I'll be able to better look at what's left after I've already pulled aside all those easy yeses. I've had a lot of time to think about that, so I'm going to do it right here in front of you and show you what I am planning to keep. Number one, <laughs> I have been loving my Lantern Moon interchangeable needles. They already come in this pouch, but as you could already see, I want to move everything into one spot. So we'll actually get into all like the little tools and everything later, but this is an interchangeable set that has sizes three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So it has six needle tips. It actually only came with five of them, but I bought the size fours to go with it. So these are gonna go into that pouch. And so I know I'm gonna hang on to these. So I'm just gonna set them on the floor and get them off of the surface here. Now, since I don't have size one and size two in that kit, I am going to definitely be keeping my size one and size two um, needles. I don't know if I'm gonna need the size three. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set aside my circular needle size one and two in that pile because now I have size one, two, three up to eight, and I really don't use anything bigger than that. I rarely use anything bigger than a six, so I should be okay with those things. Next up are my crochet hooks. I definitely want to use my crochet hooks. We'll get into the nitty gritty again in a little bit, but I'm just gonna go ahead and set the pouch there because I obviously need my crochet hooks. What else do we have here? Oh, these are not really needles, but these circular stitch holders are the best for like holding arm stitches. I don't think I need to be carrying them around in these <laughs> crinkly cases anymore. It's more so I remember what they are. So we'll figure something out for that in a bit, but those are definitely essential to me. I have a lot of double pointed needles and I will say I don't use double pointed needles very often, or at least with their intention of using four of them or five of them to work in the round. But I have multiple sets and I just recently, I'm getting rid of all the ones that don't match, I was just recently gifted from somebody super, super kind, a set from, what is it, size two, I think to size six. They're all the length that I like, they're all chow goo. So I'm gonna be hanging on to these and letting go of the ones that don't match. I definitely need my tiny little pocket scale. This is my only scale that measures in decimals with grams. I was looking for this everywhere. I didn't realize I had put it in a drawer instead of the place that I used to keep it. This is definitely an essential tool and it's going in the pile. These pearl strings or try it on tubing have been so essential for me lately and trying on my sweaters to make sure they fit, blocking my sweaters in the middle of working on them. So I would say that's another one we got to keep. I also found my split ring markers, which are definitely essential. I don't really know why I'm not keeping them with my other markers, so these are going in the pile too. Pulling out my cable needles, I don't use them very often, but these are the only ones I have, so I would think I need to keep them. So I have a whole bunch of extra, like, what are these called? Finishing needles and tapestry needles. I have not gone into the drawer to pull any extra finishing or tapestry needles in months because I mostly just use the one that I have next to me on the couch. So I definitely should keep a variety of different sizes and maybe like one to two backups of the size that I use all the time. But I think it's safe to say that if something is in this drawer, I'm not gonna be needing it. Okay, I think I'm finished with all of my must have essentials. Let me show you what's here on the floor. Here's my little floor pile, and here is what's left behind me on the bed. I guess we'll keep this one. So maybe it's not obvious, but I'm not gonna get rid of everything that's left here on the bed. There are definitely some tools that I think are worth keeping that are not worth putting in my everyday like grab and go pouch. There's some things that I want to have that are rare uses that I am willing to store, but a lot of this is not going to make the cut. My next step is to divide what is left into two piles. One pile is going to be items to store, things that I know I will still need or I'm not ready to get rid of yet, but I don't want to keep in my pouch because it's kind of too much clutter for an everyday thing. The second pile is going to be things that I'm ready to let go of. I'm either going to donate them or get rid of them in some other way. 
Let's take a closer look at what is here on the let go of pile. I haven't used this tool in a really long time. I think it's safe to say that I'm not gonna do it. I also haven't used this in a long time or this because all of my needles are now labeled. These are really adorable. Oh wait, here's the other one. But again, they're really not practical. Baby's feet are not this skinny, but they are really cute. The ruler I'm actually probably gonna keep, but just put in my office supplies instead. I do love collecting these needle gauges, but I just don't use them or do anything with them. So I think what I'll do is maybe set these aside and when I send out prizes, I can put one of these inside of it and it will bring joy to somebody else. We already discussed the DPNs. I have a new set that all matches. So all of these are going to go to one of my Love & Stitches members who needs them. These are all extra scissors, measuring tapes, pearl strings, and needles. I just don't need a lot of extra. I find that when I know where my current stuff is, I don't ever go to my extras drawer to find it. So I'd rather these go to somebody else who may want them, or maybe I will take them to donate at a Goodwill. This is the one that feels like I'm literally taking a backpack off of my back and lifting a huge weight off of my shoulders. So all of these pouches and really beneath it, all go with this needle set that it actually makes me a little sad to let go of, but I have had this needle set since high school, which is, um, I don't know, many, many years ago, more than 10 years ago. I also have a shorty set in here. I mean, literally, I don't need these anymore. I have gotten a new set of needles and they're just sitting here for nostalgic reasons, but they're fine needles. They could go to somebody else. I have so many needle tips, so many cords, so many end stoppers that can make somebody happy. And since they started a four, I think that person may want these size three needles as well. Again, I'm fully covered. I don't need these anymore. And it's gonna feel so good. Like look how much space that was taking up in the pouch to let that go and give it to somebody else. Here's the things that I am going to be storing for now. And I will also say that if you're going through this process of like making yourself a lovely, beautiful space, whether it's a pouch or it's like a drawer of all the things that you need, like one of each item. It doesn't mean you actually have to get rid of all of the other items. You can just move them to a separate space for now, like I did with the drawer. And then over time, you may go back to it and see like, okay, I can let go of a little more. I can let go of a little more, or you just don't. You literally have like your own back stock of items that you need, but then you have one nice space that's very easy for you to find everything in. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna be storing for now. <laughs> I have a lovely set of Tunisian crochet hooks. Do I Tunisian crochet? No, not currently at the moment. I wanted to once upon a time and I may in the future. I'm going to hold on to this for now and see if it piques my interest. If not in like six to 12 months, it's probably also going to go to somebody who would use it way more than I would. I also have this very nice set of Chowgu interchangeable needles. I am really sad that I didn't like these more. I just didn't love knitting with them. They're not bad needles. A lot of people love them, but I really found that I just like wooden needles that are wooden on the tip of the needle and wooden all the way down. I thought these would be a good replacement because I like the Chowgu needles for my sock knitting, but I just find that it's not the most comfortable for me to have those metal tips when I am knitting other things. But because they're so new, I think I'm still not ready to get rid of them yet, but I can definitely see myself with both of these sets, like even hearing myself talk about them now, I'm just having that feeling of like, well, I paid good money for them, I should keep them. But down the line, I'm probably going to let them go or give them to somebody else. So it's just that silly feeling that like, you know, what is it, sunk cost? I've already paid for them, I already used them, and I found out they don't work for me. It's probably just time to let them go but I wanna show you that I also have a hard time <laughs> and it's okay to hold on to things for a little bit and slowly break up with it. These are accessories for my ball winder that I love. I don't really think these are notions. They really shouldn't be in the notions pouch. I am gonna hang on to them so they are worth storing. And then the last thing of course is all of my cozies that I have made. I don't wanna like, I don't wanna like pare down yet. I love all of them. And you know what? If you like something just because you like it is reason enough to keep it, I promise you. And there are things that you would say, what? I don't need a yarn cozy or want a yarn cozy at all. 
but I do, and that's okay. <laughs> you are entitled to keep and hang on to whatever little thing you want. You want 27 H crochet hooks? Hold on to all of them, it's okay. This is a personal decision and you should do what works best for you. So here's what I've done off camera. I moved a bunch of the things that I'm not gonna use away, so I now have some clear space here on the bed. I put all of the needle gauges and a couple other like notiony things into a pouch with the stickers that I use when I ship stuff so that I can make sure to give those away when I am sending out prizes. I also took a photo of my needles and listed them to my membership Discord, so hopefully somebody is letting me know right this moment that they would love to use those needles and I can send them off to somebody that's going to use them. And with all the lovely things that I'm gonna keep, I was able to use this drawer that was basically like a knitting junk drawer before. I got my extra needles, my Tunisian crochet hooks, my uh, swift accessories, and then I actually organized all of my little yarn cozies by 100 gram size, 50 gram size, and 20 gram size. So now this is out of my other space and I can put it back into my closet for now. Now that I've done all the hard work of decluttering, it's time for the fun stuff, which is getting organized and getting everything into this bag. I think the needle part is gonna be pretty easy, so let's just get right to it. This is so satisfying. Look at it. Of course, I don't have every single size. I don't own every single size, but I'm also using some of the sizes <laughs> right now. And I am so into it. Oh my gosh, I love this. So I've got all of my lovely crochet hooks have their own space. I'm currently using my B. So it's a little bit open and I forgot that there's like two sizes here, but that's okay. They actually both fit in the pouch, which is amazing. And then on this side, I have all my double pointed needles. I might actually move over some of them so they're not like all the way in the corner just because I don't have all the sizes. And then what I was thinking for my interchangeables is remember that uh, Chow Gu needle set? It actually does have sizes, size two, but I don't know. I have my size two and size one here. So that's what I'm thinking about using this guy for. Now you also saw me set aside a bunch of crochet hooks because I have a lot of duplicates. Some of them I might save the extra for, some of them I might just give away. Cause again, when I know where everything is, I don't really need my extras. <laughs> and then also I just don't use these like really large sizes anyway. So there's no reason to hang on to them. I'd rather give them to somebody who could use them. It's time to play with the circular needle case. So it's intended for circular needles like the name and I've got my one and two circular needles. I'm gonna go through them and see you know, which ones I'm using and which ones I'm not because I pretty much exclusively use my Chow Gu needles and I might need to replace some if they're not Chow Gu. <laughs> That's, I'm, I'm at that point with my knitting stuff that like if I don't have the tools that I know that I love to use, I am in a comfortable enough place where I can replace them and I feel really, really grateful for that. And that's why I really like to share the things that I'm not using and give them to other people who will use them more because people did the same for me when I was 
first starting out and it was really appreciated. So I think not only am I gonna be able to add my circular needles to here, but I could put these in a pouch. I'm gonna put all of my extra tools and cords for my Lantern Moon set in a pouch. And then I was thinking I could even put my cable needles in a pouch. I could put these in a pouch. I could take these out of this so that I don't have to have this extra tin. I can put so much into here and just have it all in one place. I think the less things that are loosey-goosey, the better. So let's try it. My size two are all Chigu. You can tell because they're all the red cords. Whereas I have size one needles that are not and I'm looking at them trying to figure out if I should keep them or let them go. And I think I just found my answer. I really do like the Chigu needles, nothing against any other needles, but that's just my preference. So I'm gonna keep it all within the fam. I really did not realize how nice it was going to feel to take things out of the packaging. I feel like it was some unspoken rule in my head that I had that things needed to stay in them and it really does take less space and it feels really nice not to have everything in there. So let's take a look at what went inside. I'll kind of tell you my plans. I'm not going to label anything yet, mostly because I might not label anything ever, honestly. I only have two different sizes, actually three different sizes of needles in here. It'll be easy enough for me to just like look at the needle. So I might not use the stickers at all, but I'm definitely gonna like sit with this organization for a while, see if it's working for me and then maybe change things up. So the first pouch I have my 32 inch cords. Then I have all of my tools for Lantern Moon, like the in stoppers and the tighteners. I left a space for the 24 inch cords and yes, I will probably reorder them 24 inch, 32 inch tools. <laughs> I have my size one needles. I have my size two needles. And then I also had some size two and a half needles. So those are there. I have those, um, what do they call it? Clover stitch holders, which you can barely see. I have my tubing. I love taking it out of the container. That was so nice. I have my uh, cable needles. I have my tapestry needles. I don't know if they'll stay there. We'll see, we'll see. And then I have still two pouches remaining. Everything closes up really, really nicely. And then watch this. It fits absolutely beautifully right down into the pouch. I knew that was gonna be fun today, but oh my gosh, was that super satisfying. Let's take one more look at where we started today with all of that stuff. And now look at it. It's a beautiful one-stop shop where I have everything at my fingertips. If I were to go on a trip tomorrow, I could grab this and know that I'm set for any project that I'm going to have. There's still so much room in here and I haven't put anything in the front zipper pocket, but I think that I need to put this in there going in so that I don't lose it again. Oh my gosh. I think I'm just gonna like display this on my shelf right now. It looks so beautiful. So I know my next step, and that is to work on all of my tiny notions. Basically all I have left are all of my stitch markers, but I do have a ton of them. So if you like this video, look out for that one coming in the future. I hope you enjoyed organizing with me today. I always have a good time and I never regret paring down my things. I find that having less 
and simplifying and really using the things that I love and getting the other things out of the way just makes knitting and crochet that much more enjoyable. If you like this video, I will put my organizing playlist down below. I organize a lot, I declutter a lot, I spent all of last year de-stashing and getting down to one skein in my stash. So if you like that or like this, you may like that one as well. Um, but other than that, look out for the future because we are going super duper minimal. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.